Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Chama Stitches. My name is Chama. Today we are going to be learning how to make this beautiful kimono gown. And if this is something you are interested in, then keep watching and let's get into it. So what I have here is a three yards fabric. And for this uh, kimono, you have to work with your length, the length that you would prefer. And so for this, I am working with a length of uh, 54 inches and I have a length, of, a length of 55 here. So when I hem it at the edge, it's going to be coming back to 54 inches. Okay, so you can work with the length that is most comfortable for you. So what I did is fold the fabric first into a long, into half. Okay, and as you can see, there's no join in here. It is folded into half. So I folded it into four. First, I folded it the middle straight forward like so. And then I folded it into so again let me show you what i what i mean by that this is the full length of the fabric so what i did was first i fold it into half fold it in the middle like so and then i fold it again to get the length that i want okay now this is what we have here now so from here now this is going to be the front piece and the one on that will be the back piece so if you mark out the neckline I'm going to be cutting both the front neckline and the back neckline together. This is going to be the, like so, cut out the back neckline and then the front neckline, however long you want it to be. Then there will not be any joining, so there's no need to take out any shoulder joining. Then you're going to come down and take out your armhole. And then from here, I'm going to come down like so and all the way to close before the knee. And I'm going to curve it. So give the effect we want and then i'll come down like so. so this is going to be the shape of the kimono we're making okay that way when i cut out the back neckline first i can open it up like so and then cut out the front neckline and then for the front neckline because we're going to be having an opening in the middle i am going to be opening it you can take out maybe one inch or one and a half or whatever you take out you are going to replace it with a band so after cutting out this middle part you are going to fold it back again to cut out the sides now this is what i am working towards so when you have it like so so when you open it and join it by shoulder like so you are going to have something like this something like this so this is going to be our kimono we join the sides and we have a kimono okay so this is what i'm trying to achieve a bubu kimono gown okay so let's get into it i'm going to first go in for the neckline for the neckline i'm going to be working with a neckline of 2.5 inches so i mark out 2.5 inches for the back neckline i'm going to be using half of an inch so i'm just going to mark out half of an inch now for the front neckline, I can come down to up to 6 inches or 8 inches. So I have 7 inches here. I'm going to use my curved ruler to curve here. To curve in here like so. And then I'm going to be marking out the armhole. So for the sleeve armhole, I'm going to come down by 10 inches or 11 inches. And I'm marking out this. I'm going to come in by just 1 inch. And then for the curve around the knee line. Now for me, I have to come up by six inches above my knee. You can use six inches above your knee or four inches above your knee before you start curving it. So for here, I'm going to measure from the shoulder, I'm going to measure 32 inches down. So this is 32 inches. Yeah. And then I'm going to also measure 39 inches where the knee is. Okay. So from the 39 inches, I'm going to come in by 10 inches. Now this 10 inches, I'm going to extend it all the way to the down. Now from this place, the 32 inches, I'm going to start curving. So I'm just going to, going to start curving in to come and meet this 10 inches here. So this is what I have. I just follow it from this 32 inches and I curve it to the 39 inches. So I use these two markings as a guide to direct me. I hope you get what I'm doing. What I have here as an opening now will now be 15.5 inches. So if you sew with half of an inch, it will take it back to 15 inches, which means you're going to be having a space of 30 inches, which will be enough for you to, for easy, easy movement. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out this part that you have to cut together. And then I will now open it up to cut out the difference between the front and the back neckline. 
this is the curve we have first so now to cut out the neckline first i'm going to cut out the back neckline of half of an inch first and now i'm going to be cutting out only the front neckline okay so you have to separate it Now, if this was going to be just a boo boo dress without the kimono effect, then this is where you probably stop and then you try to line the neckline and then sew the sides. But because we're, not make, we're making it as a, a boo boo dress that has the kimono effect, what I'm going to do is open up the front. Now, instead of opening here, open it up straight, I'm going to be taking out one inch all the way down. So I'm going to from here mark out one inch all the way to the down part. Okay, so I'm going to cut it out. Now this one inch I've cut out, I can just go ahead and join the half an inch and then use this as a rope for the kimono for this part. So this piece is not going to be wasted. And now we have an opening here. So we've taken out um, one inch for the front. Now I'm going to be replacing that one inch by cutting out a stole or a long rope that we're going to use to conceal the front neckline. Okay. And also, this pointy part that you are seeing, this place is having a bit of a curve. I'm going to eliminate it. So I'm just going to go ahead and direct, cut out that part that has this pointy effect just to eliminate that part. So it is no longer as pointy. It's now more slanted than curvy. Okay, this is what I have like so. Now you can take your measurements and measure the opening you have here and just cut out a straight rope for concealing that part. But first, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is what I have. This is one side of the kimono, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and sew the sides. And I do not need to hem the sleeve opening. And that's because I am the fabric, I folded it in half. And the way I folded this, the edges, that's the, um, the selvage of the lace is, is neat. Okay, it doesn't have any rough edges and it's not going to fray. So for that, I do not have to hem the edges of the sleeve opening. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and sew with half of an inch all the way to the down part. And I will repeat the same thing on this side as well. So from here all the way to the down part. I'm going to measure from here, from the down part all the way, all the way to the neckline opening. Okay, and whatever you get, you're going to cut a straight rope. That are going to be using to conceal that place completely all right people here we are so i've sewn it i've sewn the sides i've sewn this side too so it's time to sew the opening of the kimono and i've i've joined these ropes so i cut out this rope the full length of the fabric cut out the rope and i have and i had to extend it i joined it to get it as long as i wanted so i'm going to be joining using it to sew this okay so i'm going to fold it like so in half and this rope is one and a half inch when folded like so so like this it is three inches when folded in half it is one and a half inch and remember what we took out for the opening here is one inch so when you join it with this if you sew with quarter of an inch you are going to come back to that one inch that was taken out so it's going to be replaced so instead of sewing with half of an inch i'm going to sew with one quarter of an inch okay so I'm going to join it like so and sew it all the way. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this down. So um, I've tried to, be, to pin it. I've pinned it down. This is how it's going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this stole all the way down. And then you can also go ahead and weave it. Give it a neat weaving and the kimono is, kimono is ready to be styled. I'm going to style this and show us how it looks. So if this video was of any help to you, don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe. See you guys in my next video tutorial. Bye-bye.